lovely to see you all. We've got a maths lesson this morning and it's all about something called unit patterns. Ooh. Actually, we probably should call it ones patterns yes. because that's what we say. So our learning so question is, how can I spot unit patterns? Mm -hmm. Now at the moment, that won't mean anything and that's okay because we're going to explain it all to you. But we need to get our maths brains warmed up. Right, so to get us warmed up today, guys, we are going back to our Oceans and Seas themed counting song. Yeah, I love this one. I do as well. It really gets me going and I like <laughs> to get up and moving. So head to Dojo now, find the link to this song. Remember though, guys, get your hundred squares out in your work packs and then count along with it so that you're recognising the numbers yeah, that go numbers. with it, okay? Do that now, have fun. Right then, children, I hope you are all warmed up and ready for our next thing. So, some of us need a little bit of practice, don't we? Counting from any number. Yeah, starting anywhere. Rather than just counting from zero yeah, or one every one. single time. Mm. So, we're going to choose a random number and then we're going to tell you to do so many jumps. Yeah, okay, count, count on. on so many and we'll see who can find the answer. Okay, I wonder they need to get their whiteboards out ready, don't yes, they? Yes, I think so. Get, get whiteboards your whiteboards ready. ready. And I'm going to choose my first number. Oh, what's it going to be? 26. 26. Oh, and how many should we count on this, Evie? Uh, should we three? three? Three. Right, off you go. See if you can do it. Next three numbers on your whiteboard. And then as soon as you've done it, hold it up so we can see. Let's have a look. Oh, I think lots of them have done mm. that. Should we just double check that? Yeah, let's so check. Ready? So you're going 27, 27 28, 28, 29. Did you get it? Brilliant, guys. Shall I choose one this time? Yes, come on, then, Miss I think Evie. I'm going to go for blue. Okay, you don't care. Um, What's it going to be? I'm going to start with 52. Ooh. And I want the next four numbers, please. Can you count on the next four numbers for me on your whiteboard? What's oh. going to come? Lovely, hold them up, let's see them. Fabulous. Brilliant, I can see lots of you've done that perfectly. You ready? So it's 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Brilliant, should we do one more and then take the 100 square away? Yes. Oh. I think they need a challenge, too easy for this. I'm going to go higher then guys, a higher number. You ready? Can we start on 74? And I would like the next. Numbers. Write them down on your whiteboard. The next, the next six. six. Let's see. Hold it up as soon as you've done it, guys. I know some of you are super speedy. They are, aren't they? Let's have a look. Shall we work it out to check? Ready? Okay. Should we get those fingers ready as well to make yeah, sure that we've counted on? Sure we've done six, six don't okay. we? Okay. So, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Brilliant. All the way up to 80. I think they're far too good at that. Oh, because they're using the 100 square, just like we've taught them to. Yes. But I don't think they need it anymore. Should we hide I it? think we could take the 100 square away. So I'll yes. take Let's it away now. It. Let's get rid of it. It's gone, guys. Right then. Let's choose a number. Miss Clayton, choose any number from 0 all the way up to 100 for me. Okay, can I have 87? 87. And we're going to count on. Five. Put 87 in your head. Are you ready? Five fingers. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Fantastic counting on. Brilliant. They're so easy. I think they're getting experts. Mm, they are, aren't they? Should we do one more? Yes, you choose one it more. this time. So hmm. I'm going to choose... 19. Oh. 19. And how many jumps should we do? Um, seven. Seven. <gasps> seven jumps. Seven jumps. Seven jumps. Come on, guys. Ready? ready? 19, 20, 20 21, 20, 22, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26. Brilliant. Five. Well done, everybody. I'm so impressed how well you're able to start at any number and then count on. Well done, fantastic. Super work, guys. Right then, children, I have got an addition sum on the board for you. 
four add three and I want to know the answer. Lots of you, I hope lots of you will know this straight away because it's one of our number bonds. So, can you tell me the answer? Brilliant, it's seven. Don't worry if you weren't sure, you can always put the bigger number in your head and count our end. Okay, four add three equals seven. Easy peasy. Yes. So what about then, if we know that four add three equals seven, hmm, what is 14 add three going to be? Hmm, let's have a look at our hundred square. So we've got, I'm going to use my purple pen. So here's four, yeah, and we added on three, didn't we, to get to seven. One, two, three. Yeah. And now we're starting at 14. Okay. Oh, what do you notice about four and 14? What can you see? That's right. It's yeah. ten more. Ten more, because it's directly underneath on my hundred square. So if I'm going to add on three again, yeah. I'm adding the same amount of ones on. One, two, three. I've landed on the number 17. So I'm, I'm noticing a bit of a pattern here, oh, children. Yeah. yeah. Can you see how it was directly underneath, underneath. there? And the answer has done the same because yeah. the number of jumps has stayed the same. Because it's still adding three, isn't it? Yeah. It's so still adding on the same amount. So our ones are the answer. Shouldn't seven. change. And it's still seven now. But because we've added a ten, because it's now fourteen, we need a ten in our answer. answer. Absolutely. Okay then. Ooh. I wonder if any of you can be real smarty pants now then. Twenty-four Ooh. add three. I wonder, can anyone guess what they think the answer might be without doing any adding? Yes. What could the answer be? I can hear something already. Oh, someone said twenty-seven. Shall we double check? Yes. Shall we double check? So it's just like starting. Sure. So we had four and seven, didn't we? Yeah. And then fourteen and seven. This time we're starting at twenty-four. Can you see? It's got four ones, just like the other numbers did. 14's got four ones and four has got four ones. Starting at 24. How many am I adding, Miss Clayton? Three. Exactly three again. Same. So let's count up. One, two, three. Oh, I've landed on 27. It is a pattern. It and is. those children, they were right. They were absolutely right. Because actually, it's still going down in that tens column, yes. isn't it? Fantastic. We're just adding 10 on every time. Absolutely. The ones aren't changing. No. Because every time we've got four ones and three ones, it's just the tens that can are I, changing. Can I just check though, Miss mm. Debbie? Shall I check with my resources? Yes. I Let's want to make check. sure. Let's because make sure we're absolutely yeah. perfect. This is this. new for us, isn't it? it is, guys? And so sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get your head around the units patterns or the ones patterns. So. Let's have a closer look then. We've got our base 10, we've got our deans and our sticks and our ones. Okay, so, shall we start, go from the 14? Yes, because we know that four and three would be four ones. So I've three. got 14 here guys, so I've got my 10 sticks, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can you let me please? Yes. Please, let's, 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 let's get three more, let's add so them. So adding three more on. Brilliant. There we go. And our answer was 17, yes, wasn't it? it was. So this is what 17 looks like. So if that's true then, if 24 add 3 is now 27, then all we need to do is add a 10. Is that, sticks. is that 27? It's yes, absolutely. The ones didn't change, did they? they these stayed exactly the exactly same. Exactly the same. Will you hold on to those yes. for me, Miss Clayton? Um, I've got them ready. Have a look at the next one. It says 34 add 3. Oh, well that's 27. So let's take those three off again. Yeah. But this time it's going to be 34. Oh, let's see if I can hold them. I've got 34. them. 34. I'm adding my three back on. Yeah. One, two, three. So it's 30. 30. Oh, I think I know what it's going to be. It's going to be 37 so, again, isn't it? It's still seven because four add three is seven. Always. Every time. We've Brilliant. just changed our tens. <gasps> Fantastic. And we can see a pattern, can't we, Miss Evie? Without. I was trying to work out where my pen was. <laughs> we put it on the floor. <laughs> 
So if we write our answer then, so our last answer was 34, add 3 equals 37. We can see that it's the tens that are changing. Absolutely. Can you see on our answers? So it started off as 7, which has got no tens, then 17, which has got one lot of 10. 27 with ten. two lots of 10 and 37 with two lots of 10. And we can show it on here, look, yeah. let's add three on. One, two, three. Oh, we're in that column again, aren't we? Fantastic. Because our ones are the same. Yes. Brilliant. So that's why it's called unit patterns. Yeah, because it's ones patterns really, isn't yeah. it? Okay, so we've got 44, add three. Can you tell me, without adding yes. anything together, Don't know. what you think the answer will be? 44, add three. Three. Wow, they're getting the hang of this, Miss Kate. So they said 47. Brilliant, because we've just added on another 10, haven't we? This was 37. The next one's going to be 47 because it's 34. And then 44. Brilliant. I'll show you on here just quickly. Yeah, so we've gone all the way to 44 now. Okay. I'm going to add three on. One, one two, two, three, 47. Fantastic. One last one then. Oh, come on then, guys. 54 add three. You tell me, what is the answer going to be? Can you write it on your whiteboard and hold it up for me? Let's have a look. Oh, Miss Clayton, they're ever so good. I know. You're absolutely right. The answer is going to be 57. Definitely. They've spotted the pattern, haven't they? They really well have. Well done. I'm going to pop it back on. Just to show you again, so we've got, we've added 10 more from 44, so then it's going to be 10 more from 47, isn't it? Absolutely, we can double check, 54, 1, 2, 3, yep, 57, because we're adding 3 each time. Fantastic children. Shall we have a look now at a different question, yes. starting off with a different question? Definitely. So, we should know this, number of arms to 10, 8 add 2, what's my answer? Brilliant, it's going to be 10, isn't it? Fabulous. Absolutely Brilliant. fantastic. We all know that, don't we? Right then, so 8 add 2 equals 10. We know that. Let me show you on here. Look at our pen. There we go. So here's 8 and we're adding 2. 1, 2. We're ending on 10. Now, 18 add 2. Let me find 18. So it's just 18. directly below because it's 10 more. It's 10 more again. Can you spot that? Straight away on my hundred square, I can see it's right underneath, so it must be 10 more. And how many am I adding again? Two. two. Exactly the same. So one, two. What have I landed on? 20. Brilliant. That's 20. Fabulous. Ooh. So we're noticing a pattern again. Guys. That one ends in a zero. This one's ending in a zero, and it's one more ten, isn't it? Yeah. And we started with another ten. Yes. But did the ones change? Has the eight changed, or no. the two? No. So the ones in 18 hasn't changed, and the two was only ones, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look now. Next one then, children. So we know that eight add two equals 10, 18 add two equals 20. What do you think 20 add Two is going to eat. Write it on well, your board. Yeah, pop Let's it on your see. whiteboard. Ready. Show us. Let's see. Brilliant. I can see lots and lots of 30s. Fantastic. 30s. I'm going to show you on here just quickly. So here's our eight. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's very close to the side. <laughs> so here we go. Look, 28. We're adding on two. One. Two, we're landing on 30. But you already knew that anyway. You didn't, didn't need you? to do that. You know the pattern. You spotted the unit pattern. Fantastic. Fabulous. Couple more just so we get into the pattern. So this time, look, 38 add two. Write the answer on your whiteboard for me. Okay, lovely. Hold it up when you're ready. What, Miss Clayton? I'm so, I'm so impressed. impressed. It's a very tricky concept, I think. It really is, and they've done amazing. I they? have, you're all right. It is, it's 40. So, I'm just thinking for a bit. But it, it's 38. Add 2. Why, why is it not 30? Because we've added an extra 10 on, haven't we? Ah, of course. Every time, every time on our 100 square, we're going one square underneath. Yeah because we're starting with an extra 10, yes. but our ones aren't changing, no. just the 10. 
And we've already just had 30 as our answer, didn't we? We've so already we had it, yeah. It couldn't be 30 again, could it? Because our first number, we've added 10, so it can't stay the same, can it? And also, we'd have to be taking away, wouldn't we, to go back to 30? Exactly. Yeah. And oh, we're God adding it. on, aren't we? Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, then. <gasps> Four. If we know all of these number facts, we know 8 add 2 yes. equals 10, 18 add 2 equals 20, 28 add 2 equals 30, 38 add 2 equals 40. You might even be able to hear it. What's the next one going to be? 48 add 2 on your whiteboard. Hold it up for Let's us. See. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away. Amazing. I think you've you knocked our socks off. You have. Well <laughs> done. It is. It's 50. Brilliant. Fantastic Definitely work. a pattern going on here. You can see it, can't you? Definitely patterns going on here as well. Yes, because you can see the units, the ones, stay the same, stay the same. It's only the tens, tens. that are changing. Brilliant. Right then, last one. 58 add 2. What's your answer going to be? Write it on your whiteboard and hold it up for Let's count down. 5, 4, 4 3, 2, one, hold them up. Oh my goodness wow. me. You're absolutely right. The next one is going to be 60. Because the ones aren't changing, just the tens. You've spotted that pattern. Absolutely. Amazing job, everybody. Well done. So eight add two always makes a multiple of ten, no matter what. Absolutely. Fantastic. So I could say 98 add 2, and I would know that the answer would have a zero on the end. It's going to be the next multiple. Yeah, it's going to be the next yeah. multiple, so it would be 100. 100. Okay. We've done lots with you. Together yeah. there, it's your turn now. So on Dojo, there are um, two activities for you to do. This first one, it's starting with a nice simple question, so 6 add 2. And then you've got to find the answer. And then you need to write all of the other answers in by looking at the patterns. The patterns in the ones and the tens. Like we've just done. Exactly like we've just done. So there's three for you to have a go at. This last one, I've taken lots of the numbers away. So you've got to do a little bit more work there for us. I think they can manage it with their I think so too. Well, they've spotted that pattern. They're on a roll, aren't they? Yeah. And then you've got a reasoning task. So with this one, it's not just about saying whether Lucy is right or wrong. You need to tell me why. How do you know, from the work we've done today on unit patterns, Definitely. how do you know that she's right or explaining. wrong? Explaining, and we usually use a, a special conjunction for when we're mm. explaining, which is because. We've got to got explain it. why, haven't yes. we? Okay, have a fantastic time. Let yourself get into the pattern. Make sure you spot it and have fun. See you later. Bye.